Hi there, it's Snuggle. Welcome back to House of Da Vinci 2, where we're an apprentice of Leonardo Da Vinci, solving puzzles to discover hidden secrets. And how do we do that? Well, of course, puzzle solving and lateral thinking. Let's get going. So, you know, I was just thinking, it's kind of interesting, the original game was, uh oh Oh, this is the original game. I was just going to talk about this. <laughs> so we're having, okay, so we're having sort of a flashback to the original game. That's strange. Kind of expected this at the beginning. Um, I wonder if we're going to now pick up where we left off on the last game. The last game we jumped through, that's us, jumping through a time portal. Slopping down on the hard surface somewhere. And there's our super magic glove that Leonardo da Vinci gave us. Hey. Hey. What are you doing? Stop that. For Pete's sake. Wait, who is that? Is that Da Vinci? Or is that that jerk who got us out of prison? Or threatened to put us back into prison? Not sure. Okay, so we are picking up here. Okay, that's all. Oh, that's very interesting. So now, so we are now picking up where we left off. Very interesting indeed. That's good though. All right. What happened? I just remember falling down endlessly. So Brigia and I fell into a different time. And what is he going to do with the glove? Oh, so that was okay. So that was that stupid jerk. Sure, let's pick this up. Yeah, got a handle. What else we got here? Oh. We get even more. Can we? Yep, blurf that. Oh, hello. Hey, buddy, what are you? You're a funny looking wheel. What is it? A wooden desk. Looks like this wooden desk wants to be manipulated. Oh, it does. <gasps> hey, it's a cog. Cogs are useful. My mind is in a state of chaos. I've never been more confused in my life. There are thousands of thoughts in my head, but I can't get a hold of even one. I feel like I know the place now. I find myself after jumping into the time machine. Well, time machine well, but at the same time, it's so different. It's as if I were here in a different time and in different circumstances. That would mean that Leonardo's masterpiece is really working. But what time have I ended up in, and where's the master? What happened to Borgia that he looks so pitiful? And where is he, and where is he with the glove he stole from me? So many new questions I have fucked to find answers to. Okay. All right, so that gives us a little bit more background. What do we got around here? Oh, hold on. Oh, hey, buddy. Do you need a crank? Do you need a crank? You don't? All right. You look like you need a crank. Let me see. Well, a handle, not a crank. Maybe not. We'll look around a little more. Actually, can we open this up? Hmm. Okay, that's a that's a curious shaped. That's a very curiously shaped thing. What's this? <laughs> Figure <Leonardo> Da Vinci. <laughs> okay, uh, what else we got around here? So we got that. Obviously, we have to do something with that. Can we go over here? We, we cannot. We can only go over here. Oh, hold on. I'm being a big dumb idiot. Look down here. See that? I bet you want this. Yeah, you do. Don't you? Okay. Um, no. Oh, of course, the cog. Boink. Um, okay, there we go. Cool. Oh dear, puzzle. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. So I, I, this type of puzzle, uh, I believe, um, is our goal is to get both of these up to the top. So let's get the one. Let's get the one on the left up to the top first. 
and it gets this, these puzzles get a little tricky. So I'm, I'm, I'm not very good at them in particular, <laughs> and specifically. <laughs> um, but let's just let's just see what we can do. So can I go anymore? Okay, now let's see, and you, you'll see you'll see why this ends up getting tricky because we got this one up, and everything seems fine right now, right? Sure, it all seems fine right now, Snorkel, you're thinking. See what happens? Yeah. Stupid thing. Okay, and then we need this to bring this up. Okay, that won't go anymore. All right, let's 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 think about this now. Um, wait, they're both of them up all the way? Surely this one is not. Oh, there we go. No, both of them aren't all up the way. Doggone it. Uh, this way. Yeah. Hold on. Uh, trying to, I'm trying to place these so this is going to work. Because <laughs> I mentioned this before. I'm an idiot. Okay. Is that up all the way? If the left one is up all the way. I think the right one is not. Um, let's see. Nope. Oh, darn it. Dug on it. Hold on. Yeah, shoot. No, go back. Nope. Shoot. Ah, get up there. Get up there, you. Okay, um... We, how do I position these? Hmm. So that this can, let's see, so this one can slurp up there. Wait, no, let's, let's move this down one. This one can, no, doggone it. Get down there. No, down. And then this one um, on the right, I keep saying this one and it should say on the right or left. The one on the right needs to go up one, like that, and then this one, we want to turn this way to go up one like that. Okay, I did it. Whew. But I, I am not very good at those ones in particular. Hey, is that another one to lean on with weird keys? It is. Okay, well, we, know, we know where to use that. Wait, hold on. That looks like something goes in there. My experience with these games are, that's not coincidental. We'll, we'll be back for that at some point, I assume. All right. Let's take a look and see what this looks like now. Okay. So it kind of looks like an eye with a, with a, with a wider sort of strike through in the middle. So let's see if we can, let's see if we can make this. Can we, let's turn this so it's a little better. Yeah, okay. So, um, that one up. That one down. No, uh, yeah, that one like that, and that one like that. Is that right? Looks like it. Okay, let's see if it, if it goes in there. Hey, it does. <laughs> Neat. Oh, and it yep, goes, okay, great. So it goes back into my, get up there. All right, what's in here? Well, first of all, it's over here. Something goes on here. I don't know what that is, but... Something over here. Interesting. Oh, yeah, okay. We use, Leonardo uses these types of things all the time. There we go. Okay, so we got a metal handle. That's handy. Anything in here? There's nothing actually in the box itself, but there's... We can't... Can we do... We can't... Well, we can, we can but I don't think there's anything else to do. So it's obviously something else is hidden in here, and we need to go for with that, but we don't have... I don't, I don't think that this is going to work on here. No, we'll have to, we'll definitely have to come back to this later. Okay. Let's look around. Anything else we can do over here? Can we, oh, wait a minute. I got an idea. Yeah, I thought something went in there. Okay. Ooh. <gasps> hey, it's our thing. It's our orb. 
Giacomo. Before you came to Milan, I was visited by Cesar Borgia, accompanied by mysterious men. They brought ancient but, but incomplete plans for an extraordinary machine and wanted me to build it for them. My curiosity outweighed caution, and I accepted the commitment, including the promise of, a complete, of complete confidentiality. Captivated by the prospect, I started working right away, and the Duke came to check on me from time to time. Soon, I found the key to the immeasurable power of the miraculous device and understood that no man can be allowed to hold that kind of power. In time, Borgia became ever more nervous, and his, and his visits closer and closer together. He seemed forced by someone or by something, fearful even, and I no longer felt safe in Milan. Okay, uh, one, two or two? How do I get to page two? And, oh, there we go, okay. We found a new shelter in Florence, alas. I could not just forget the machine. In Milan, I only made a small model, and now I wanted to see its full potential. I am full of remorse, but at the time, nothing could stop me from building the time machine in the Tower of Badia, Florentina. I had no idea what danger that put us into. It was then that Borgia appeared again in Florence, and he seemed desperate. Gone was his majesty and noble bearing, but he was no less dangerous for it. His obstinate obsession with the time machine escalated, and I was slowly getting backed into a corner. To make matters worse, that was not all. The device caught the interest of a secret and mysterious society. Giacomo, you are part of the story. Which, you, which part you will puzzle together on the first floor? I gave you back the Ocula per Perpetua, improved with a new function, but you will surely find out what that is on your own. Leonardo da Vinci. Okay, great, we got our magic orb back. Me. Ah, so it was Leonardo who left out that note. Okay, cool. So, okay, so we have the key. Look around here. Um, okay, let's, well, let's, sure, let's use the Oculus Perpetua. Yep, yeah, let's go. Boom. Oh, we are... Interesting, okay. It seems I went back to the past, just after I jumped into the time machine. I mean, this looks curious, right? <laughs> uh, Blurf? Uh-oh. A dog got it. I hate when that happens. Um... I'm I'm just gonna line the two um the two uh triangles up. I think that's what I'm supposed to do here. Yep. Oh gosh. Hold on now. I saw I saw you, buddy. Found a metal loop. Okay. Uh what else? What's this? Hmm. Okay. Doink. Doink. There we go. Now in real life, that would just crash down on your face. <laughs> Hello. Oh. This is one of the mechanisms I should look at through Leonardo's improved Oculus Perpetua. Oh, thanks for the, uh... Hold on. Oh, okay, so we would recognize this from the first game. This is sort of one of the magic things that it had us do in the game, which is um, we're able to see things like x-ray, and then also not just see them, but also manipulate them. So let's move. I'm assuming we just need all these gears to be lined up. Hold on. Move this back. This has to go up, I think. And then this goes there. And then slurp this. Yes. Okay. Up we go. All right. So, oh, they're moving it out. Okay. Well, that seems not great. Hmm. Yeah, definitely, definitely moving it out. Wait, what the scorb? How was somebody... Okay, what just happened? What just happened? <laughs> Where am I? How did I automatically transport somewhere? I'm extremely confused. <laughs> okay. Not, again, not sure exactly where we are.
All right. The mysterious figures got to the gate in the end. But how is it possible that one of them knows me in the past? Yeah, that, that is weird. Let's just look around here. What do we got? Okay, obviously, we can look at that thing. Let's see what we got here. Can we do anything with this? Oh, maybe maybe this goes here? Oh, it does. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, another one of his super fancy machines. So hard to read. Oh, no, I just heard scribbling in my in my book. So maybe. Oh, thank goodness! <laughs> I really did find the first piece of the puzzle. That is that is the story on the first floor, embedded into a large mechanical table. The year displayed changed from 1506 to 1545, 1595. Here's what the note said: In Florence, I found myself between a rock and a hard place. Should I give the machine to Borgia or the secret society? I chose neither, but I needed a plan. There was only one way to get out of this mess, to go through the time machine into the past and prevent it from ever being built. The drawback of the Zeiss was its instability, as it could only be used twice in succession. That was a good thing. I could go through the gate and leave it inoperable for whoever would, lag, would lay his hands on it. And that's how I first overcame the barrier of time and returned 11 years into the past to the year 1495. Okay. Well. Okay, boy. I'm really glad because that was one of my issues with the first game. I'm glad that they write that down like that because that is super handy. All right, well, let's, let's get out our... Uh-oh. Hold on there. Well. Okay. Okay, so we have... Hmm. Interesting. 0507... 1015. That's weird. Wait, 2031. So, like, um, double plus one? Like 0507 times two is 0514 plus one is, t is 1015. 1015 times two is 2031 plus one. Okay, uh, that, well, we're going to have to solve this at some point for sure. Um, so my guess would be this would be 4063. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what it would be. Okay, cool. Hmm. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. So uh, I'm assuming we need to match these up. Oh, yeah, okay. Hey, look, cute little guy with an orb. Oh, wait, that's me. <laughs> that's supposed to be me. Ah, <laughs> oh, look at the little guy with the orb. <laughs> that's such a dope. <laughs> uh oh. All right. And as we found out last time, yeah, it's going to be better. In another part of his testament, dated 1495, the master continued. The Oculus Perpetua was conceived as a side pro project of my research into the ancient, incomplete, yet incredibly advanced plans. How was Borgia able to get his hands on it? What was the role of the secret society? If I knew the answer to these questions, I could prevent the time machine from ever existing. After I arrived in the year 1495, I needed to hide my presence, even from myself. But I had a plan. After your escape from the prison, I gave you the Oculus Perpetua which you used to acquire the sketch of the finished time machine. Borgia took it, and now, and I could find out how he would react. Okay, so now, okay, that's interesting. So what's, uh, oh, I was here, okay. What, what do we got here? Any, we can't, can we do anything on that? We can, well, we can still zoom in on that, but we can't do anything. Can we take any, oh, wait, uh, nope, can we take anything? What's this? Nothing? Okay, hold on. It doesn't look like, oh, maybe, 
that looks suspicious. Can we take that? Can I have that? Please? Yeah, that looks like we could be able to take it, but I, I don't see how. Hmm. Just kind of checking this out. Let's see. Anything else we can look at and take? Nothing super obvious. We can't do anything over there. Like, it's not letting us zoom in here. All right. We have... Oh, we have the key. That's right. And I don't... Hmm. I mean, that stands out, because there's not another one. Can we? Hmm. I don't... Uh, wait a minute. Oh, hold on. Oh, I'm... Okay, we still have the key, and I'm an unobservant dope. Okay. Uh, hold on, let's go back. Okay, so... Long standers on the bottom. Let's see if we can get this. Let's see if we can get this going. Uh, probably like that. That. That's the other way. <laughs> Doug got it. That's not right either. Hold on. Hmm. Uh, I think that long one, that one makes sense up there. Where's another long one? Not there. Not there. Let's, let's put those up so we know we're not going to use them. Not that this, okay, so this, this back one kind of has to go down like that. Oh, that's right, okay. Is that, is that it? I think. Let's see. It is. Whew. What's in here? Okay, something that we don't have. Okay, we're well, obviously going to need to put something in there. So let's open, yeah, let's open this one. Okay, good. Whew. Okay, so I think, well, let's, Kind of like the same, but it had a little doohickey sticking up. So I think if we go like this and like that, is that, was that what it was? Yeah. And then which was the one that had the little thing sticking up? That one. Is that right? No. <laughs> That's completely wrong. <laughs> okay. That seems right, doesn't it? Let's find out. That is not right. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, we need, we need two of those on the bottom. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Let's see now. These two have to be either this one. I mean, man, that's not right either, is it? I don't think so. No. Uh, hold on. Oh, so that's long. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. These long ones have to be done on the bottom, like that. And then this one goes up here. And nope, one in the back. Come on now, one in the back. This one goes like that. Yeah, and this one goes like that. Okay, I think that's it. It is, okay, whew. Oh, come on now. Oh, yeah, okay, and the key disappeared, so that is the last. Oh gosh. What the sclerb? Okay, that seems really dangerous. Ooh, down we can go and explore a new area. And explore it we will, but that is going to be next time. Thanks for watching this playthrough of House of Vinci 2. 
Coming up next, we got a new area to explore. And it looks like we have actually started back where the last game left off. Thanks for watching again. I'll see you next time for more House of Da Vinci 2. See you then.